Oh, and um, the stream should not be lagging for you guys. Let me know if it is. I don't think it will be, though. Um, if it is, let me know, and I could try to maybe kind of work on it. Because we're streaming, there's not a lot I can do. Alright. So, I'm going to hop on board with Dave. Where's Dave? Here we go. Dave, the genius himself. The man who put together Legacy. He's going to see him taking the H right now. He is going to have to back up because Iglu has these nades. He's actually going to be backing up a lot. I'm going to bring up the overhead map here for two seconds. You can see the COG team is actually having a little bit of a tough time right now. Quincy has the bow. Porkchop has Crucy. Travioli getting one kill, but it is now a 2v3. Yeah, you can see Dave is just backing up a little bit. Now, where is his teammate? Scissor has the digger. Okay, so this could be a game changer if Scissor can connect with the diggers. I'm just reading the chat. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Here we go. Dave trying to get some angles right now. This might be the push. We might see a push outside on Dave. Oh, what a beautiful digger. Scissors actually making plays. Looked like they were not even aware of that. Scissor almost getting a kill right there. So we're gonna just, I'm just going to rotate between Dave and Scissor. You can see. Oh, and they're actually trying to get that torque bow under the car right now. And Scissor actually might be the push. This might be the play to make. But Scissor, he's, you know, kind of going everywhere, making sure that he cannot be pushed. Actually going to be going to Dave right now. Are we going to see a push? Maybe, maybe not. No, I don't think we're going to see it, guys. You can see the overhead map. Oh, and we're actually going to see a big push at the Incens right here. Scissor needs to be careful. No, oh, okay, the Logos team is going to have to back off just a little bit. He does have the digger. Now, one thing I'm going to point out. Um, oh, oh, you know, before I do that, Scissor actually making a good play, getting the incense, using the digger to make the Locust team back off a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, oh, and Scissor's gonna have to. Oh, and that, that incense trail. Look at that incense trail. Oh my gosh. That is so unlucky. Man, that's, that's rough. I will always go for a listen in on King of the Hill. That was a great, weird incense. Okay, just like that, it is the Locust team taking it home. Beautiful Incin right there. I'm going to hop on board with Lucius. I saw it posted up in the chat. I'll hop on board with him. I think we're going to see plays of the boom shot. Travioli is the only one here. So, yes, Lucius is going to take the boom. Scissor does have the nades, however. Scissor needs to put these nades to work. Both nades wasted. The advantage now does go to the Locust team. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, but Lucius not able to connect with the boom. Scissor is going to be able to get this meat shield. Oh, and you can see very bad right now. They lost the boom shot, and Travioli is still holding it down right here. The COG team went from being in a horrible disadvantage to now being in a 4v2. Scissor making a beautiful play by taking out the boom shot. Looked like he may have ate. Oh, and Quincy, just like that, picks up the boom right under their nose and takes it. It is a 1v2. Can he make it happen? Quincy, oh, and he actually misses the boom. This is not good. You're in a 1v1 against Dave. Here we go. But Quincy making a beautiful play. I want to see if he takes this. It's a 1v1 right now. Now it's a 2v1. Quincy not able to take that 1v1 in time. It's all good, though. Can he take it? Oh, trying to get a few shots in. No. And Dave is going to sit there with a nice, hard L trigger. Take it home. The nades spark the fire. All right, so we are going to see a very aggressive four inside from this COG team. That or, Yeah, the COG team. Okay, so they're not even playing in the middle. They're actually going to be playing for both. Lucia's is getting taken down. Just very smart play. Dave was being so sneaky right there. Oh, and the Torque Bow is going to take him out. Wow, what a sneaky play. That was definitely a play to win a round. Pork Chop getting, ta pork chop getting taken down. Crucy going in with this Torque Bow right now. 4v2, man. Great play from the COG team right there. You can see they're just kind of getting nice. Oh, wow. Wow, Quincy playing his heart out right there. Almost getting taken down by Travioli. Um, but, you know, he was able to get that kill. Was able to get that kill. 
So Igloo, last man standing, our dude Igloo. Let's see if he can pull it out. I remember watching this guy with the power weapons. He was very impressive to say the least. Don't know how he's going to fare in a 3v1 though. This is not a good spot right now. You can see the cog team just capitalizing on this situation. And Igloo is potentially... Oh wow! And he gets the kill! Scissor not able to connect with those Lancer shots. Oh, but Igloo did not see the shots from the side. Man, great kill though. I'm That was really impressive. That could have potentially been a win if um, he saw the guy on the left. This is a dirty, Alright, so I'm actually going to hop on board with Quincy right as I say it. He gets it, and um, we're going to see what he can bring to the table here. Very impressive so far. He's been doing a lot of work for his team. Okay, so you, we're, there is going to be a boom push by the Locust team. Quincy is going to have to play passive while he just gets a few crosses. Both nades wasted, but Travioli taking out Lucius. Oh, and Quincy needs to stay alive. Scissor. Oh, can he get the kill? He can't get the kill. Quincy able to get the mead shield. Scissor not able to connect. And Quincy is actually going to be making plays right here. It is a 2v3. He needs to take the 1v1. He does. Quincy is on fire right now, everyone. It is a 2v2. Oh, and Porkchop needs to be careful of this cross. It's not going to happen, though, because Quincy is right here to hold him down. Man, okay. Very impressive plays by both these guys. Oh, and here we go. We are going to see a play made from Travioli. Potentially, Porkchop needs to stay alive. He's not stunned anymore, so that smoke is not going to work. Here we go. Oh, and Quincy not able to um, get that cross. You can see Dave. Who are we? we got Dave and Travioli on the other hand right now. So this is definitely the point in the game where both teams are communicating with each other. It looks like a little bit of a stalemate. But, you know, this is definitely the most important part of the game where both teams are saying, okay, you know, this is how we're gonna put this is how we're gonna approach this. Potentially, if they do this, you do this. Um, or, you know, what they might do is they might just wait for another boom. I don't think it's worth the risk. They might push though. I can see Dave taking out a shotgun, might prove me wrong. I nope, we're not gonna see it. Travioli is gonna be waiting for this boom shot. And it really looks like the COG team is in a little bit of a better uh, situation at the moment. So we could break this down right now. Potential plays that could happen. But oh, Travioli hurt. He's not hurt. So when the boom comes up, when the boom comes up, Dave could go inside and make the Locust team push boom. He could, yeah, he could try to bait it a little bit and make the Locust team push boom. Like he could pretend to go for a flank and then the Locust team would have to push or focus on the flank. Oh, he actually has a smoke. I, you know, we're not even going to see that, I think. Here we go. He might... I think what he's going to do... Okay, he's not, he didn't do that at all. Here we go. Dave actually tossing his smoke right there. He has the nades as well. These nades are going to come into play. Quincy's actually moving up right here. The nade is going to go down. There's the nade. Pork Shop. Oh, you're about to get caught. Pork Shop getting taken down. It is now a 2v1. Quincy, last man standing. If he can stay alive... Oh, is there a boom? Not going to see a boom fly right there. Quincy, 2v1. Can he do it? Oh, he's getting Lancer just a little bit. He is going to go down. That's unfortunate. Dave showing a beautiful Lancer. Now, I want to point out, I want to point out that the, the Australian scene, for all the American people in the chat, the Australian scene, they don't play advantages as quickly as the American scene does. Like, 2v1s, 3v2s, it's not as aggressive. The advantages are played much stronger as in you know they take the they take the leads very slowly um it's just a different style of play so you'll see them you know get map control and then just wait for like two power weapons before they make a push oh but scissor actually taking out igloo right here is now a 4v3 lucius wow getting that lancer down very important he almost went down scissor almost going in but lucius again last guy alive right now you can see from the scoreboard it is 3v1 lucius needs to take the the whole cog team out if these guys want a chance right now. Lucius does have a smoke grenade. Oh, and yep, and he... Oh, he's about to get crossed. He is going to have to back up. He gets marked. Not much he can do at the moment. Oh, and Dave actually has these incense. Lucius is going to try and make Dave... Yep, and Dave actually weighs both of them. Lucius now is able to... You know, the, a 3v1 is much easier to win without those incense in play. Oh, but he is going to get taken out. Okay, just like that, you saw Legacy bring it home.
Dave going in with five kills and one death. Travioli, six kills, one death. Um, you know, really the whole team went in. When you beat a team 4-1, everyone's got to be doing their part. Really impressive. We're going to see how Lucius' team fires back right now. N-A-C-L-Y. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but I like it. It's an original team name. <laughs> We're going to see if we can get a listen in next. It was whoever you guys want to see. Oh, Emily is in the chat. Everyone give Emily a warm welcome. She is my partner in crime and um you know, she's normally working at, you know, anything. You know, if you guys see me, I, I can commentate and she does every like she is like a multitasking monster. So she's she's like the goat, pretty much. Greatest of all time. All right, so. Okay, so. If you guys, who do you guys want to get a listen in with? Who are we getting a listen in with? Let me know in the chat. Travioli's team. Yeah, you guys want to hop on board with Legacy? All right, so let's see if we can get a listen in. Oh, all right, my screen froze a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right. Can I get an ambassador of both teams to come to the game chat so we can get a listen in potentially, please, maybe? Hello? Okay. Oh, why can I not hear you guys? Hold on. Yo, can you guys hear me? I I can't hear you for some weird reason. Hold on. What what's going on? Okay, can you guys say something for me? <laughs> I, I can't hear you. I I I don't know. I I can't hear you guys. I don't know what's going on. You guys could invite me to party if you want. <laughs> I I have no idea what you guys are saying. Uh, oh, I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, 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 you guys are fine. I can hear you. You're perfect. Uh, yeah, just do it like that. Okay. You guys are perfect. We're good. We're good to go. I'm sorry. Thank you, guys. Uh, no problem. All right. Thank you guys for the... Yeah, 
about to lag. This is bullshit. Fuck. I got smoke. fucking angry. Oh. Okay, so I checked the stream and I checked, you know, to see if you guys could hear them. Maybe it was just me. For some reason, I can't hear them, and I and you guys can't hear me either. So we can only hear one member of their team. But that said, I'm just gonna jump right in here. You can see the the Cog team is definitely making a lot of plays. They just took the hill. You can see, you know, they're just getting some angles right here. Scissor is getting it in. There it is. Igloo actually taking out his own teammate. And they are going to get this initial time. And they're going to try and push out the Locust team from one shot. You can see Scissor's holding it down right here. Oh, and they're actually all going to spawn at one shot. Which means that the, um, the Cog team is going to have to hold this down. And get ready for a potential push. There's one smoke. But I don't... Yeah, no, that push is not going to happen. You're going to see the Cog team actually rotate for this next hill. We're going to stay on board of Scissor. Scissor has not died yet. And he's actually in a pretty good spot. You can see from the overhead map, the Locust team is going to have to take the blue box. And potentially wrap around. But that's going to be really difficult. They could try and push through one shot. Oh, we're going to see a push. Here we go. Scissor getting a good angle. But I don't think we're going to see a push. Okay, yeah, so you guys can't hear it. All right, that's fine. All right, so you can see Scissor is just chilling at the moment. The whole COG team. Oh, and we're actually going to see a good push right now. Lucius is actually able to get a kill right here. Dave and Lucius are in a 1v1, but Dave is going to have to back up because Lucius has this meat shield. Lucius is definitely being a pain in the ass right now. He's just chilling in the hill. Oh, and he actually broke the meat shield. I don't know if he meant to do that or not. Oh, and he is going to get taken out by Travioli. And they are going to be able to get more hill time and make this 40 to 0. Um, this is one of the things with King of the Hill. If you're not a real, if you haven't been a team for a long time, you know, if you don't have a lot of chemistry, it's really hard to beat these veteran teams. But you can see the COG team is actually getting crunched in right now. Wow, and the Locust team is making good plays. Are they gonna? Are we gonna see a push? I don't think. Oh, Travioli actually taking out Lucius. Quincy's about to go in on Travioli. Boom! There it is. Travioli getting trucked right there. And Quincy getting some angles, just light him, lighting them up right now. Oh, he's going to be able to get Igloo there. Actually, both trapped at this red box. That is never fun. Quincy's just chilling at the moment, getting good angles. Oh, we do see a great cross from one of the uh, Locusts. Someone has, meat. Someone has a one-shot, though. I think Scissor actually has the one-shot. Quincy is able to get that kill, and they're going to be able to get the rest of the hill time. But it's only 15 seconds, and the COG team is already on the prowl for this next hill. They're going to be taking a 2v1 on Lucius. Lucius trying to stay alive. He can't. Oh, and now the next hill is going to be... Where's the next hill? Blue box. Next hill is going to be blue box, everyone. And we're going to see who is better set up right now. The Locust team is, mu is much better positioning right now. But Krusey has the nades. Where's Krusey? Let me see if I can hop on board with Krusey. Locust team is now finally getting some hill time. Oh, can I hop on board with him in time? Yep. So Krusey did get one nade kill. I think he has one more left. Yep, and here we go. He has one in his pocket. Are we going to see the toss? We're going to see if Krusey almost going down, but he gets it in. Is it going to be a kill? Yes, he gets the kill. He shoots. He scores. So Krusey is going to be coming in right here. Beautiful nades. Definitely the playmaker for this hill. And the COG team is really going to set up right here. Dave gets stunned, but Krusey is still fine. Oh, walking into the meat. Walking into the ink. Man, all right. So the COG team getting more hill time right here. Krusey with beautiful nades to grab that hill. 
You can see the Locust team is setting up. They might push again. There's only 30 seconds, though. I don't know if this is worth it. Okay. And what looks like Travioli just got a nice kill. A Quincy got a nice down as well. Yeah, but you can see... Oh, actually, Igloo's getting pushed by two members right now. He needs to be careful. Here we go. We're actually going to see the push. Are they going to commit to it? Looks like they're actually going to commit to it. Dave's going in. They're both going in right now. Igloo's just trying to stay alive. He gets one down. Can he get the meat? Oh, and he actually has support from his teammate. But Karusi is about to go in right here. Karusi actually get taken out. Scissor taking out Lucius as well. It is 100 to 40 right now. The COG team getting a lot of time on the board. However, you can see the Locust team. They're charging up. Travioli needs to stay alive. He does. If I can hop on board in the ghost cam, Travioli just trying to stay alive right now. Getting two kills and that making a bad situation into a good one. The fact he was able to get two kills is going to secure the hill for this COG team. Legacy is going to do a beautiful job of securing this hill. And this is incredibly difficult to break, everyone. Torque is incredibly difficult to break. Oh, Travioli getting a good spawn right here. But we're going to hop on board with the Locust team. We're going to see how they approach this situation. Quincy actually has an ink grenade. Lucius, we'll come back to you in a minute, buddy. We're going to hop on board with Quincy. All right, 210 to 187, guys. You saw it in the chat. Oh, and Igloo has the nades. All right, they're not even waiting for the nades, everyone. They're about to... Oh, are they? Uh, yeah, it looked... Uh, they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. They're going in. Igloo actually taking himself out. He said, you know, we don't need the nades. Taking my own teammate out while Cruzy gets a beautiful double kill. I'm taking myself out, I mean... You can see 150 to 40 right now. Crucy, oh, barely missing that. Dude, it's looking like Robin Hood right now. I want to see some bows. I want to see some sticks. That is two out of all of the bows he has wasted. Scissor getting a nice kill on Pork Shop. All right, I may have over-exaggerated this Robin Hood comment. He needs to get a stick if he wants to be Robin Hood. Oh, Igloo being very aggressive right now against Krusey, and Krusey's being very smart, getting some angles, kind of going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and it's actually going to be a 2v1. Krusey is actually not in a good spot. Lucius and Krusey in a 1v1. Lucius taking him out just like that. The COG team is still getting more hill time as these antics are playing out. They need the, the Locust team needs to get in here. They need to kill this team. Oh, and this is not good. Dave getting a great cross from one shot. Igloo is just going to try and light him up as well. Lucius going in and Igloo not. That is not not good. The COG team capitalizing on that. They will be able to get some hill time here. Oh, 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 oh! Wow, Igloo getting a kill. Quincy getting a kill. There it is. Scissor getting, getting taken out. It is 186 to 40 right now. Both of these teams are going in. Quincy, our man, is going in right now. He's got support from his team. Dave is trying to stay alive right now. Oh, no. He does get taken out. Scissor has this bow, however. Now, we're going to see this Locust team set up. We're going to see Chief Igloo and crew. Oh, here we go. And Krusey, actually, he's going to try and take this position really quickly. Boom! Igloo says, nah, you know what? You can go back to spawn, my man. Igloo's just going to chill in here. He's got this set up. There's only 25 seconds left, though. Only 25, which means they're going to have to rotate. Oh, we do see one member of the Locust team at one shot. I'm going to see if I can hop on board with him. Oh, yeah, they going to get taken out. You can see the COG team just trying to get some angles, and they actually are set up for this next kill. I'm going to bring up the overhead map here one more time. All right, now there it is. Quincy is coming in right now. Oh, he's going to get the kill. He gets one shot, two, three. There it is. Crucy getting taken out. Lucius taking out Scissor. Oh, but Quincy getting taken down as well. Pork Shop is in this hill right now. Not able to get the kill. Wow, COG team barely holding that push from happening. And you can see Dave is just lighting them up right now. Here it is. Dave's just trying to get an angle. And he actually might get pushed right here. Dave is definitely the push. The Locust team needs to push Dave if they want to get in this hill. Oh, and there it is. Igloo getting taken out. Travioli taking out Pork Shop. The Locust team is just relentless in this push. There's actually two members of them. In the hill, Lucius trying to stay alive, but he gets taken down as well. Oh, everyone is dead right now. Let's see where they spawn. Let's see if they have a fighting chance to break this hill. They spawned at Tiki. They have 10 seconds. They have no choice. They need to push right now if they want to get in this hill. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Igloo, here we go. He's coming in. Igloo sneaking past the team, but he is going to get taken down. Pork shop. You got to go in, man. 
Oh, and he is getting hit. And there it is, guys. You saw it first. Legacy doing a great job right there. Scissor, 11 kills, 10 downs, and still on bottom for his team. Dave getting eight caps. You know, both teams did the best they could, but sometimes when you have two subs, you know, some, you know it happens. You know, the chemistry needs to be there. The teamwork needs to be there. Don't get it twisted. You know, Lucius, this team is, is an amazing team. N-A-C-L-Y. They are a great group of players. All of them are high-level players. But that chemistry, man, when you're up, when two top teams are playing against each other, everything comes down to, you know, it's, it's the little stuff that matters. The chemistry. You know, how well you know the people you're playing with. You know, the pushes, the smokes. It all comes, those little details really do matter.